Today, we have a choice in the diamond world. We can choose between natural diamonds forged over eons deep within the earth and lab-grown diamonds created in controlled environments. This choice raises important questions. What are the differences between these two types of diamonds? Natural and lab-grown diamonds share the same chemical composition. They are both made of pure, crystallized carbon. This shared identity means that, to the naked eye, they can appear virtually identical. Both possess the signature brilliance and fire that we associate with diamonds. However, the way they are formed differs significantly. This difference in origin impacts various aspects, from cost and environmental impact to the perception of value and luxury. Understanding these differences is crucial. It empowers us to make informed choices that align with our values and priorities. Lab-grown diamonds are often surrounded by misconceptions. Some believe they are simply imitations like cubic zirconia. This is entirely false. Lab-grown diamonds are not fakes. They are real diamonds, possessing the same physical, chemical, and optical properties as their natural counterparts. Another misconception is that lab-grown diamonds are flawless, while natural diamonds have inclusions. In reality, both types of diamonds can exhibit a range of clarity grades. Natural diamonds often have inclusions, which are internal characteristics that occur during their formation. Lab-grown diamonds can also have inclusions, although they may be different in nature. These inclusions do not diminish their beauty or value. They simply serve as a reminder of the unique formation process of each diamond. The formation of a natural diamond is a story of immense pressure and intense heat, a process that takes place over billions of years. Deep within the Earth's mantle, carbon atoms bond under extreme conditions where temperatures soar and pressures are immense. Over billions of years, these atoms arrange themselves in a tight crystalline lattice, giving birth to a diamond. This intricate process results in the formation of one of the hardest substances known to man. Volcanic eruptions then bring these diamonds closer to the Earth's surface, where they can eventually be discovered and mined. This journey is a testament to the immense power of geological processes that shape our planet, showcasing the dynamic and ever-changing nature of Earth's interior. Mining these diamonds is a complex and resource-intensive endeavor, involving significant human effort and advanced machinery to extract these precious gems from the Earth. In contrast, lab-grown diamonds are created in controlled laboratory environments, where scientists can replicate the natural conditions required for diamond formation. Two main methods are used, high pressure slash high temperature or HPHT and chemical vapor deposition or CVD. Each method has its own unique approach to creating diamonds. HPHT replicates the conditions of natural diamond formation, but on a much faster time scale, allowing for the creation of diamonds in weeks rather than billions of years. CVD uses a seed crystal and a carbon-rich gas to grow a diamond atom by atom. This method allows for precise control over the diamond's properties, resulting in high-quality gems that are virtually indistinguishable from their natural counterparts. The Price of Sparkle Comparing Costs One of the most significant differences between natural and lab-grown diamonds is cost. Lab-grown diamonds are typically more affordable, often costing 30 to 40 percent less than comparable natural diamonds. This difference in price is due to several factors. Mining natural diamonds is an expensive undertaking. It requires significant investment in exploration, extraction, and processing. Lab-grown diamonds, on the other hand, have a more streamlined production process. This efficiency translates into lower production costs, making them a more accessible option for consumers. Furthermore, the lab-grown diamond industry is not subject to the same price controls as the natural diamond market. The absence of a traditional supply chain allows for greater price transparency and competition. Earth's Burden – Environmental Impacts of Diamonds The environmental impact of diamond mining is a growing concern. Traditional mining practices can have significant consequences for the planet. Mining can lead to deforestation, habitat destruction, and soil erosion. It also consumes vast amounts of water and energy. Lab-grown diamonds offer a more sustainable alternative. They require less land, water, and energy to produce. The controlled environment of a laboratory also minimizes the risk of pollution and environmental damage. However, it's important to note that lab-grown diamond production still requires energy. The sustainability of this process depends on the source of energy used. 
As the industry grows, it's crucial to prioritize renewable energy sources to further reduce its environmental footprint. Precision in the lab quality control of lab-grown diamonds. One of the advantages of lab-grown diamonds is the high level of quality control. In a laboratory setting, scientists can carefully monitor and adjust the growing conditions. This control allows for the creation of diamonds with specific characteristics, such as color and clarity. Every lab-grown diamond undergoes rigorous testing and grading. Independent gemological laboratories, such as the Gemological Institute of America and the International Gemological Institute, use the same standards to grade both natural and lab-grown diamonds. This commitment to quality assurance ensures that consumers can be confident in the authenticity and value of their lab-grown diamonds. The allure of luxury, perception and value. The perception of value and luxury is often associated with rarity and exclusivity. Natural diamonds formed over billions of years have long held this allure. However, the perception of lab-grown diamonds is evolving. As consumers become more aware of their ethical and environmental benefits, lab-grown diamonds are gaining recognition as a responsible and luxurious choice. Ultimately, the value of a diamond is subjective. It's a reflection of personal taste, values, and the meaning we attach to it. Whether natural or lab-grown, a diamond's ability to symbolize love, commitment, and enduring beauty remains unchanged. The informed choice. Your diamond, your values. The choice between a natural and a lab-grown diamond is a deeply personal one influenced by individual values, beliefs, and preferences. There is no right or wrong answer when it comes to selecting the perfect diamond. Both options offer the brilliance, fire, and durability that diamonds are renowned for, ensuring that your choice will always shine bright. Natural diamonds carry the weight of history and the allure of rarity, having formed over billions of years deep within the earth. They are tangible reminders of the immense power of nature, each one unique and irreplaceable. Lab-grown diamonds, on the other hand, represent the pinnacle of human innovation and sustainability. They offer a responsible choice for the environmentally conscious consumer, reducing the impact on our planet. By understanding the differences between these two types of diamonds, we can make informed decisions that align with our values and priorities, ensuring that our choice reflects who we are. Whether we choose a diamond formed over billions of years, or one created in a state-of-the-art laboratory, we can cherish its beauty and the meaning it holds for generations to come, making it a timeless symbol of our love and commitment.